Okay, so next component I'm going to be looking at is the uh, relay uh, for the aromatic suspension system. And this is the relay which sits on the driver's side uh, fuse box under the uh, under the hood. And uh, the part number is A002542 1319. And this is manufactured by Siemens. And um, this was uh, this hasn't failed, uh, but um, I just wanted to test to make sure that there isn't any fault with this. Uh, it's very very easy to test, and I'll just explain that in just a moment. And um, the reason I wanted to test this is because on the forums I found a lot of people were saying that um, they had a sudden aromatic suspension failure. Um, usually all around, so all four suspension basically sink, um, and uh, that's usually uh, boiled down. But it boils down to sometimes this relay, and what it does, it doesn't actually allow the air compressor to be, be uh, turned on, and so there's no air supply to the system, and eventually the car just sinks. And um, a lot of the users who've reported this, they actually blame this particular model of the relay which is a Siemens uh, version of the relay and as you can see uh, there's a bit of a reflection there but you can see that this is a um, Siemens relay there uh, but this relay has been run running for about 12 years and it's still still very good so maybe there's a very specific batch of Siemens that actually went in the market and caused a lot of problems uh, but this se this relay seems to be good so I've shown you the part number and the bits that I want to share is that the relay that gets replaced, which is usually um, recommended as being a better of a better quality, is a Heller relay. And I've checked that that relay also have the exact same part number. So um, that's the part number, and it's a 12 volt relay. And uh, the next thing I want to include is just before the testing is where. Um, this uh, relay is located now I have two um, fuse box diagrams here and this is the uh, driver's side and this is for a W220 model and you can see um, this is the driver's side fuse box because it's a right hand side vehicle um, so this is where the driver sits you've got the fuse box under the bonnet and in there it's the position O um, this is this particular uh, relay. Now I have another fuse diagram um, which is also from WD220 but there is a, I don't know where this, this one came from um, but uh, the, this, the, the one that I've just shown you um, this one here is from my vehicle and this is the one that um, I'm not sure where it actually came from um, but this particular one is uh, W220 but it's also C215 I'm not sure maybe if that applies to the CL um, uh, not so sure about that but again the uh, relay position for the aromatic suspension is still on the O uh, so I'm not going to use this diagram but this was just in case um, this fits more your vehicle um, so um, this is the diagram and if you look here um, the O1 corresponds to the air suspension um, and that's the relay here uh, which is this one there and that's the relay um, I've just shown which is the Siemens one now to test it um, a relay is basically um, a like a toggle switch uh, like you have the main switch in the house in case you don't know um, it's very very simple to use um, simple to test sorry uh, underneath this you will find that there are uh, four pins and all of them are numbered so if I actually hold it like this you can probably see um, if I put it like this you can see that the um, it's too much reflection and uh, it's not focusing very well so the bottom one uh, I've drawn a diagram basically um, the bottom one is uh, 85, top one is 86, um, left hand is 30 and this one here is 87 and all it is is that if you give two 12 volt to, uh, if you give 12 volts to the pin 86 and 85 it basically energizes a coil which 
moves a lever up and completes the connection which is basically this thing here and it basically connects these two pins together that's all it does it's the same thing as if you were to you know just take a wire from here to and, and just short circuit this that's the purpose of this relay it basically connects those two and what happens um, in the Siemens one the one that people have reported to be faulty is that it do, the relay doesn't energize um, properly or the the coil breaks and so there's never no connection made between these two points hence the compressor never runs and uh, you lose all the air in the aromatic suspension system so that's basically the relay so you give it a power to this pin here and this pin here and then you basically run a circuit so you can basically take a bulb and a battery and just put the connectors here and see if the bulb turns on when you give power on the other two connectors and if you do that um, you will be able to um, test whether this relay is working. There's something else that you can do as well so I'm just going to pause the video and just connect the wires and show you very quickly. Okay so what I've done is I've just uh, powered on my 12 volt power supply and I have connected the relay on one side and so the second test is basically when the relay kicks in it usually produces a sound um, which is basically the coil energizing so when you give it 12 volt you should hear that click sound and it sounds something like this you can see every time I connect you can hear the uh, coil kick in now I haven't actually got the circuit ready here for to test these two connectors but basically I connected to um, uh, basically a battery with a bulb uh, with an LED and connected these two and it turned on every time I give 12 volt here on this side because that's all it does so if you hear this click sound you know that relay is uh, energizing and the uh, the coil is actually trying to connect these two points you can also just you know connect here and use a multimeter to see if you are establishing any connection on this side every time you give 12 volt so that's a simple way to test this um, uh, relay. I'm just going to power the system off. So that's it and now that I've completed all the information about relay testing I'm going to move on to the next system in the aromatic suspension which uh, I'm going to be working on. So thank you for watching this video and I hope uh, the notes are useful to you. Thank you.